Ever wondered why your bedroom gets messy all by itself, but never cleans itself up? Well, the universe might have an explanation for that. Picture this. The universe is like the biggest, most chaotic bedroom you can imagine. It's full of galaxies, stars, and planets, just like your room is full of clothes, books, and that one sock you can never find a pair for. But how did this cosmic bedroom come to be? Scientists believe it all started with a bang. Not the kind of bang you make when you stumble over that pile of clothes in the dark, but a big bang. This colossal event is thought to have given birth to everything we see around us, from the tiniest particles to the largest galaxies. And just like your room, the universe is constantly changing and evolving, sometimes in ways we can't even begin to comprehend. So next time you're scolded for your messy room, just say it's your way of mirroring the universe. So buckle up, because we're about to go on a journey from your messy bedroom to the messy universe. Once upon a time, about 13.8 billion years ago, there lived a tiny chap named Mr. Singularity. This guy was so tiny yet so dense, he carried the entire universe in his pocket. Now, you might be wondering, who is this Mr. Singularity? Well, let's get to know him a little better. Mr. Singularity was not your typical chap. He was indeed tiny, in fact, so tiny that he was infinitesimally small. But don't let his size fool you, because this little fellow was packed with everything that would eventually become the universe. Yes, you heard it right, everything. Every star, every planet, every grain of cosmic dust, and even every last bit of dark matter. All squished into a point so small it's hard for us to even imagine. But what does it mean to be a singularity? Well, in the world of physics, a singularity is a point where some property is infinite or undefined. In the case of our friend Mr. Singularity, this property was density. He was so incredibly dense that laws of physics as we know them just stopped making sense. Imagine trying to cram all the elephants in the world into a thimble. That's still nothing compared to the density of Mr. Singularity. Aside from his size and density, there was something else unusual about Mr. Singularity. He was timeless. You see, when you cram so much matter and energy into such a small space, time becomes irrelevant. It stops, stands still, takes a vacation. This means that Mr. Singularity existed in a state where time as we understand it did not exist. But like most of us, Mr. Singularity got tired of being confined. He yearned for a change, for room to breathe, to expand. So one day, he did just that. Fed up with being so tiny, so dense, and so timeless, he decided to let go. He decided to explode. And this explosion, my friends, was not just any ordinary explosion. It was the most massive, most spectacular explosion that ever happened. It was, as we now know it, the Big Bang. One day, Mr. Singularity decided he had enough of being so tiny and boom, he exploded into what we now know as the Big Bang. Think about the biggest weight loss transformation you've ever seen. Now multiply that by a gazillion. That's what happened after Mr. Singularity exploded. Now, let's not get too literal here. We're not talking about a cosmic diet or a universe hitting the galactic gym. We're talking about the rapid expansion of the universe after the Big Bang. This was not your everyday expansion. It was more like everything you know, and everything you don't, going from a size smaller than an atom to, well, the size of the universe, in less than a blink of an eye. It's like going from a tiny pebble to a galaxy in a heartbeat. We're talking about a major makeover here. Imagine, one moment you're a super dense, super hot singularity, and the next, you're stretching out, cooling down, and starting to look like the universe we know and love. It's like the universe went on the ultimate weight loss plan, shedding unimaginable amounts of density and heat in the process. And boy did it work fast. This weight loss journey didn't take weeks or months, but mere fractions of a second. It's like the universe had a New Year's resolution to slim down, and it just couldn't wait to get started. But here's the kicker. Unlike your typical weight loss journey, where the goal is to get as small and lean as possible, the universe's goal was to get as big and expansive as possible. It's like reverse dieting but on a cosmic scale. And guess what? The universe is still expanding today, billions of years later. It's like the universe is on a never-ending treadmill, always stretching, always growing. It's the ultimate weight loss success story with a twist. So next time you're feeling down about your own weight loss journey, just remember the universe. It started from a single point, 
and grew to encompass everything we know. If it can do it, so can you. Within a blink of cosmic eye, our universe went from a tiny dot to an ever-expanding entity. Talk about a serious makeover. Ever looked at your baby photos and wondered how you've changed? Well, the universe has its baby photos too. Let's take a stroll down the universe's memory lane to a time just after the Big Bang. We're talking about a period roughly 380,000 years after the Big Bang. Now, in human years, that's like taking a snapshot of a baby just a few minutes old. This baby photo of the universe is called the Cosmic Microwave Background, or CMB for short. The CMB is a faint glow of radiation that permeates all of space. It's like the universe's earliest baby album, filled with grainy, black and white images. You see, when the universe was just a baby, it was a hot, dense soup of particles. As it expanded, it cooled down, and the particles combined to form atoms. When this happened, the universe suddenly became transparent to radiation, and light could travel freely. This light, this radiation, is what we now see as the CMB. Reading the CMB is like reading the universe's diary. It tells us about the universe's density, composition, and even its shape. It's the universe's version of those embarrassing notes you scribbled in your diary as a teenager. Just imagine, astronomers poring over these cosmic baby photos, trying to decipher the universe's secrets. And what they've found is that these photos show a remarkably uniform universe, with tiny fluctuations that are the seeds of today's galaxies. The CMB is an invaluable tool for astronomers. It's like having a time machine that takes us back to the universe's infancy letting us see the cosmos in its purest form. We can study how the universe has grown and changed, just like how you can see how much you've changed from your baby photos. So next time you cringe at your baby photos, remember that the universe has its share of awkward snapshots too. Except, in this case, these photos are helping us unravel the mysteries of the cosmos. Just like your embarrassing baby photos, the universe's baby photos are out there for everyone to see, from a tiny dot to an ever-expanding entity, the universe is now a cosmic jungle filled with galaxies, stars and planets. Yes, you heard it right, a cosmic jungle, where every celestial body is a wild creature roaming freely in the wilderness of space. Consider our own Milky Way, a spiral galaxy with over 200 billion stars, a cosmic lion if you will. It's prowling around, minding its own business, and occasionally interacting with smaller galaxies. And just like a lion has its pride, the Milky Way isn't alone. It's part of a local group of galaxies, a sort of cosmic pack, which includes the famous Andromeda Galaxy. And what about stars? Think of them as the birds of this cosmic jungle. They are born, they live, they die, and some even explode in a supernova, leaving behind black holes or neutron stars. And these black holes? They're the cosmic jungle's elusive panthers, hiding in plain sight, yet so hard to spot. Planets are like the smaller critters that scurry around. They orbit stars, just like how a squirrel might scurry around a tree. Some are gas giants like our neighbor Jupiter, and others are rocky like our home, Earth. And let's not forget about the many moons, asteroids, and comets, the insects of our cosmic jungle, buzzing around in every corner. Now this cosmic jungle is not static. It is expanding, growing larger every second. It's as if our jungle is on a never-ending growth spurt. Imagine a jungle where trees keep growing taller, rivers keep getting wider, and the horizon keeps getting farther away. That's our universe. And just like any earthly jungle, our cosmic jungle is teeming with mysteries. Dark matter, dark energy, the nature of time and space. These are the riddles that even the brightest minds are still trying to solve. And just like in any jungle, there's always more to explore. So, what did we learn today? Well, your messy bedroom might not clean itself up, but it sure does give us a funny way to think about the universe. We started with Mr. Singularity, the ultimate introvert, who decided one day to go out with a bang, literally, and create a universe. Talk about a dramatic entrance. Then, we saw the universe embark on the most epic weight loss journey ever, expanding faster than a balloon at a birthday party. Next, we flipped through the universe's baby photos, also known as the cosmic microwave background, it's always a bit cringy to look at your old pictures, isn't it? And let's not forget our cosmic jungle, the present universe. It's like a cosmic safari out there, 
with galaxies, stars and planets roaming around. And who knows, maybe one day we'll find out that our universe is just a tiny dot in Mr. Singularity's pocket. <laughs>